Alright, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up the uh, ACT Advanced Combat Tracker. What you're going to want to do is download it from the ACT website, which I will post at the bottom of the video. Uh, what you're going to want to do after it's installed is open it up. It'll take it a second. Uh, it'll look like this as soon as it opens. Uh, or Actually, it may not because it I just now remembered that it does actually go through a initial startup phase. It, it's like, okay, do this, this, and this. Um, but you can cancel out of all of that and go to the advanced settings. Go to option, uh, or actually, let's go ahead and go to plugins. I use the uh, STO Parser 1206, which was created by CAS um, from the Task Force Spectre. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just make sure only one parse is enabled at one time. If you have more than one, it will mess up the program. Uh, once that's enabled, uh, like if you download a parse, you're just going to browse and pick whichever one it is that you want to install. And then you add enable plugin. And then it will have a check mark here to make sure that it's actually running. Uh, if any others have a check mark, make sure to uncheck them. Um, now you're going to want to go to your options, miscellaneous, open log file. Uh, the easiest way to figure out where your log is is have the Star Trek Online Launcher open. And it'll have a uh, deal down here at the, or a icon at the bottom, uh, which you can right click. And then where it says Cryptic Game Launcher, right click on that and click Properties. Open your file location. That will take you directly to your Star Trek Online folder. Uh, what you're going to want to do is find the log file, uh, which is going to be here at the... Um, actually, let me just take you to where the log file will be. Uh, click on Star Trek Online, Live, uh, Logs, Game Client, and Combat Log. Uh, if you do not have a combat log in here, you're going to have to manually create one, um, which is just going to be, uh, you'll create a new one, or a new text document, and you're going to do, oops, if I can type, combat log dot log, and then you hit enter, or sorry, let me redo that. You're gonna do new, or it's combat log dot log, uh, which it'll come up like this. Uh, from here, you're gonna open it up once you actually uh, find where it is. Open, and then you'll see that it'll say like uh, all of this information at position. It may be different on that. Uh, I do at 64. Um, I'm going to go through these pretty quick, just follow along with what it shows. You may need to pause it on that specific deal. Uh, sound is just a personal preference. Uh, until I say otherwise, these are just personal preferences. Alright, on this one is not necessarily a personal preference. Uh, the advanced graph, that part is personal, it's just whatever you want. Actually, in the graphing option itself, uh, you can turn off, say, like, thread, cure, dispel, uh, power replenish, power drain, uh, thread out, cure. And you do have to click, like, right on the check mark itself, so that can be kind of a pain. Um, auto attack, all of those, uh, graph normal. You can either have it on the simple bar graph or the advanced DPS over time graphs, uh, which is CPU intensive, so if you have a lower end computer, do not do this one. Uh, make sure that this these two are checked. Uh, mini parse window, another uh, just personal preference on the color, which is going to be what you is here, which stays on top of the game. Uh, you can actually see the DPS numbers as you're playing, so you can kind of figure out if you're out of position or not. Um, but I'll go ahead and close.
close that for now. Text export settings. This one is very important. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that the align text to appear in columns based on cell contents is checked. 16. Uh, make sure they export to clipboard after combat is checked. You're going to want to add a um, preset. Uh, you can edit directly if you don't feel comfortable uh, setting this part up, but for the first time it's best to uh, basically um, start up. Uh, the top one's not really all that important. Um, it's just whatever is specifically there already. Um, now the per combatant formatting, that's where it gets a little bit different. Uh, this is for personal preference on what you're actually seeing uh, posted. Uh, I do name 15, uh, space, which is a uh, custom text, and then DPS, you'll just scroll down and find short DPS. Make sure that that is there. Uh, when you click on it, it will... Uh, you just find it and click append and it will put it at the very end. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that for right now. So you want to start here first and then go to the right. So it's a left to right read. Um, on the custom text you'll append and you'll put a space. Then of course DPS, which is short DPS. DPS here is going to be a space, DPS space line. Uh, what this does is shows you basically that this is DPS damage and there's a line to show you that that's the end of that person's. Um, and so it will look identical to this. Uh, then you can do the sort combatants by. Encounter DPS is what I go off of uh, because with the encounter DPS if somebody is outside of the encounter they may have higher DPS itself but the encounter damage is going to be lower because they're not in position. Uh, then you're going to add the text format preset. Uh, when you do that it will come back here. It may be empty, it may not. Uh, so you'll just make sure that that one is going to be set up. Uh, then from that you can do like the color of the graphing which is just personal preference. Uh, web server if you're doing it on the web, which I don't suggest. Uh, pretty much those three are kind of null and void. You don't really need them. Selective parsing. Uh, no selective parsing. Rely on atom automatic ally detection is what I use. Uh, add remove players. You can do that here. So like if there's somebody you don't like, you can put their at handle and it will remove it. Uh, miscellaneous, uh, data correction, all of that. But once you get the, uh, the text export settings, that's the main thing that you're going to want. Uh, from here you can, uh, like in game, you do have to type slash combat log space one for it to actually work. Uh, and then it will, um, here, let me just actually import one. Let's select a file. This is an old log file, so it'll take it a second to actually load through it, and it'll scan through all of them. And I'll use the above. Da -da 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 -da. And as you heard the sound, that's letting me know that the log has been done. Uh, this is just for the importing, just to see like what your past ones were, as long as you had the um, combat log running. It, so let's say, uh, let's find one that's got a decent duration, if there even is one. This is an old encounter. Actually, let's do it this way. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But see how there's different graphs and everything. It gives you basic information on what kind of damage you're doing. Uh, this is a ground battle here. That's why it's a 95 and not like a thousand or higher. Um, this is an actual... Uh, I forget what this one was, but like see here, the DPS is high, but the encounter DPS is low. And that's why I do the encounter, right? Um, but once it actually um, 
the combat is done, it will be at you if you put a audio. If not, you'll just have to kind of guess. It's usually about six to ten seconds afterwards, after you're out of actual combat, that it'll uh, post to your clipboard automatically. From there, you just press Control V in your chat, and it will post exactly what it was that was just shown. Um, Right. And if you need anything else, just let me know.